According to Lorena Gonzalez from the San Diego Union Tribune, she said in 2016 that the following proposition will give enough money to create 12,000 new classrooms and repair 44,000 of them. That's going to be a huge help to the school's facilities. And I have been researching this proposition for a while, so I am now well educated in it. Uh, I'll inform you guys on Proposition 51. The three aspects that I will talk about will be first, the renovations with schools, second, the safety renovations, and third, the technological advancements that can be made and or improved. So talking about the renovations in schools, uh, first start off, like I mentioned, uh, Lorena Gonzalez, she stated again in 2012 that uh, over half of the nation's school facilities are in desperate need of repairs and modernizations for schools. This proposition, Proposition 51, will be able to give enough money to create new classrooms, classrooms for uh, schools that have already have enough students crammed up into one class. They could extend the classrooms and separate those students, have more one-on-one -on -one time with the professors, as well as just better education for them. They will be able to create uh, different buildings, auditoriums, uh, theaters, gymnasiums, anything that would be helpful for the schools for after school sports or any activities. They will also be able to add scenery, scenery gardens, uh, fix uh, the sports, the grass, bleachers, anything that would be helpful for them. And they will also be able to create buildings, such as for colleges, they can create more, add more floors to the parking structures, add parking areas, or create a whole parking structure of its own. They will be able to repair uh, the school, be able to paint the walls, be able to, uh, I already mentioned, add some scenery and things like that. Now, I would like to jump into the safety renovations that can be made, which would be uh, as simple as putting cameras around the school. They could put cameras, make sure uh, they, they are watching. The students know they are watching at least, and add more security guards to be walking around the campus. They could do that, as well as uh, for younger younger schools, younger students, they could add fences around the school, perimeter, so they won't leave, they won't get hurt or wander off, and not let intruders come in and hurt them or do anything like that. Some students in schools, they they are in need of, uh, they have trouble transporting from point A to point B. They might be in crutches, they might be in a wheelchair. They may need help in class uh, to take notes. They might not be able to see. They might not be able to understand the words that the teacher speaks. So with this money, they'll be able to provide or, or fix the elevators, provide more elevators, uh, help those students uh, in, in class, translators uh, for sign language, and that's, that's it on that. So now I would like to jump to uh, technological advancements. And here, it could be as simple as buying more computers, buying more laptops. Uh, updating them so it could be work much faster and here this, some students don't have computers or laptops or anything at home so here it'd be helpful if you have more computers they could go to the library they could do their things other uh, research their essays stuff like that they could provide laptops for students in high schools i remember my high school had that they had chromebooks so we don't have to worry about going to the library we just had our laptops there in class we'd use them uh, finish our work there go home and start working on other projects for other classes and that would be really useful. So a lot of classes would be able to do that, as well as providing other equipment, technological equipment, such as uh, speakers, uh, special software programs for other special classes. Uh, this could be for classes such as music, choir, uh, video editing, and other classes such like that in high school and in college. So today I talked about Proposition 51, uh, the three aspects of them, renovations in schools, the safety renovations and the technological advancements that can be made and or improved. Um, like Lorena Gonzalez stated in 2016, the Proposition 51, the fund that from Proposition 51 will be enough to create 12,000 new classrooms and repair 44,000 of them. And this will be a huge help to the school facilities um, across the nation. Uh, thank you.